Hello everybody, it's the Peace Security here and uh, this afternoon I'm looking to get two reviews uh, out of the way real quick. So the first one's going to be about MCSoft Anti-Malware 7 which was released I think day before yesterday and uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, not a lot of changes, uh, the core interface is still the same. They've only added this uh, blue banner over here and now they give you Anti-Malware in all caps. Not too pretty, but it's a decent interface. We all know that uh, MCSoft have a file guard, behavior blocker, and surf protection. Now if we take a look at the guard, you'll see that everything is enabled. I haven't messed with any of the settings. It's all set to default. And let me just show you that this thing is up to date. Now what's really been in the news for the few days is that MCSoft now uses uh, Bitdefender engine. So now you get two engines with this, the basic MCSoft engine which was uh, the default engine in the last version and uh, their engine B which was uh, initially just from MCSoft now is a modified Bitdefender engine. So. Yes, it was done last time but anyway I'll show you guys again and so now it uses uh, Bitdefender plus MCSoft engine so it should get a really good detection rate. The update's uh, complete so we can move on with the test. Uh, let's take a look at the memory usage. Now I am noticing some computer slowdown and it's obvious now that they use two engines and two major engines it's going to use quite a bit of RAM and right now it's using too much 95 megs and I think they run one more process in fact it just runs one process but this one process is super heavy it uses 95 megs of RAM, but we'll see as the test progresses how much system slowdown is caused due to that 95 megs of RAM. So I'll wait uh, for the test to be over before I give the grade. So now let's start off with our executable malware. We've got some zero-day malicious URLs. Let's see if MSoft can block them. First one's caught pretty easily. It's uh, caught by the surf protection. Second one's also blocked. The connection was terminated by MCSoft. Third one's, uh, I guess it's some Trojan, and this one was also cotton blocked. This is a fake AV. Got through the surf protection. But the file signature is got it, so this too was blocked. Here's another Trojan, a fake version of WinRAR, and it's blocked by MCSoft. Last is another low detection rate Trojan, and it's caught too. So six out of six in the first part. Now let's move on to some exploits. Here's uh, page that drops a Java exploit and this one's blocked by the surf protection. So far MCSoft is doing pretty well. Here's a Java exploit and it's cut by the surf protection. So the surf protection does seem to have improved considerably. Okay here's a phishing website and this too was blocked. And here's another phishing website. And this one got through MCSoft. So, only one phishing website is all that uh, MCSoft stuff can protect us from. So, it's going to be grade A as it blocked 9 out of 10 links. Now, let's uh, see how it does against un I mean, uh, static malware. So, I'll disable the MCSoft guard and I'll unpack uh, my malware and I'll be back when that's done. 
as you can see, I've got 400 malware files here. Now, these are a mixture of uh, some of them are zero day threats. I think 200 are zero day, and 200 are about four days old. So, let's see what kind of detection rate we get from MCSoft. So, I'll be back uh, with the scan results because I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while. Welcome back. The scan just completed and it wants me to submit a file. I'm going to do that and rest of stuff is going to be quarantined. Now, it, it has removed quite a lot of threats, but it still has some threats to deal with. So I'm going to delete the rest of the stuff. And it's a pretty quick removal process. And it got rid of that. So now let's see how many items we've got left over. Just 17. So this gives us a detection rate of 95.7%, which is certainly outstanding. So I'll be giving it. Uh, I'll be giving it grade A plus. And the plus is only for suites uh, with a really exceptional performance, either in the link test or in the detection rate test. So if it would have blocked 10 links here, I would have given it an A plus. And uh, I'm only going to give it A plus in detection rate because uh, this is a pretty good detection rate on this kind of malware. Only very few products would be able to match this. So now let's see how it deals with the remaining items if its behavior blocker can block these. Here's a piece of adware. Seems to be running just fine. Hit accept and install. Let's try something more serious maybe. There's barely anything here that's going to run because so many files have been removed. Okay, this one was caught by... Oh, hold on. Hold on a second here. I just forgot to enable the guards. So let's try once again from the start, shall we? Still nothing from MCSoft. Now I have all the guards on and it blocked a suspicious host, but nothing from the behavior blocker so far. And it's uh, verifying a program with their cloud that is MCSoft Anti Malware Network. It's already caught by Windows Defender. Okay, here's an alert and it says this file tries to download data invisibly from the internet. So, I'm going to block and quarantine. And that should t get rid of this thing. Let's try something else. Not really any serious things left over in here. Most of it is just going to be some adware. But I'm sure this one's infected. Drop some file here. And anti malware detected some adware, so some kind of file that this thing was trying to drop was blocked by MCSoft. Let's try this one and this one. That's about everything that we have here. I don't have anything else. Let's 
So now I'll just uh, open up MCSoft and like do a quick scan and then I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll show you guys the results. As you can see nothing was detected by MCSoft so now I'll do a scan with Hitman Pro and I'll be back with the results. Of course I'll reboot before doing that. Welcome back Hitman Pro hasn't found anything so MCSoft successfully stopped uh, the few leftover files from infecting the system and what else I saw here is that this A squared surface has just uh, absolutely dropped to almost nothing. So right now I'm not doing anything and the update and everything is done so this is the ideal RAM usage. I mean it's not doing anything at all. I mean it's just using about 2 megs of RAM or 2.5 and that's it. It's not doing anything else. You can see there's no other process and that's the amount of RAM it's using right now so this thing has fallen to a really low level and that means it's certainly going to get uh, an A over there for performance. So malware infection pr prevention capabilities are present and they succeeded in protecting the system so an A here and uh, certainly for performance it's uh, I'm going to give it an A usability well it has a pretty decent end face so an A again and overall grade is going to be an A plus and the plus is because it managed grade A at least in all the sections and uh, that's when I give an A overall grade A plus so this is a top class security suite uh, consider buying it if you've got the money and it's well worth it. It's uh, real, It provides really good protection and the RAM usage is uh, pretty low as well. I mean it's not slowing down the system too much and that's what you'd want from uh, any security suite. So that's it for this review. I think the next one's going to be on McAfee so stay tuned.